My personal experiences with self-development, um, I mean, when I was a junior soldier, I did Army Correspondence courses like there was no tomorrow. Um, I, I probably did a thousand hours of them. I spent a lot of time doing those. I mean, I, I would sacrifice my personal time to do those because that's the things I needed to do to get promoted. You know, it made me a smarter, more efficient, more competent soldier, it made me a, a more competent leader. And to be honest, some of the things I learned um, doing those correspondence courses, because I reached out to Marine Corps correspondence, Navy, all kinds of different um, self-development tools I used, uh, it, it made me a better leader today. I still remember a lot of that stuff. Some of the activities I've taken part in in my current assignment for self-development was actually the pursuit of my graduate degree in professional certification. Uh, those things actually really helped I, you know, identify through the coursework, hey, in your current position as an HR professional, as the Battalion S1, you know, these things are applicable to what you're doing. Here's some things you can incorporate into the performance of your duties. I've also taken the time to go seek out my old senior raider. She's still uh, stationed on the same post, and I've gone to her and said, ma'am, tell me some of your experiences when you were in this type of situation that I found myself in, or when I was transitioning into my current situ or into my current position, and I didn't have too much of a left seat, right seat. I sought her out. I asked her, where can I go to find more information about what it is to be an executive officer? What did you do in a situation when you had little to no guidance? And she was really able to provide me uh, feedback and coming from someone with 20 plus years in, in the Army that was valuable information to me that I, I definitely stuck in my pocket and I've gone back to time and time again. I've also kept in touch with uh, peers who have gone through um, courses and certifications that I haven't. I've leaned on them to tell me their lessons learned. What did you take from it? And while I haven't gone through those courses, there's still something that can be learned from their experiences. The lifelong learning process is uh, very important. Uh, being in college um, or your professional certificate that goes along with your your uh, your career field, if they have that available, you need to get after that. Uh, you just got to be, you know, to support the professional arms, you got to be a professional at what you do. And anything that helps prove the fact that you're a professional at what you do, you need to be getting after it.